Hi everyone, it's Beth, and today I want to talk to you about the Legolas Exchange, which is going to be having its public sale, which starts on February 1st. But first, let me remind you, I am not a financial advisor, so everything I say here is only my opinion. So please take this information and weigh it against information that you get from as many other sources as you can find, and then remember to never invest anything more than you are willing to lose. Okay. So now I want to talk about the Legolas Exchange, which is what they've termed a hybrid exchange, um, blending together the benefits of a decentralized exchange and the benefits of a centralized exchange. Because let's face it, a decentralized exchange is fantastic in concept, but really can be pretty difficult and limited in its execution. So. They have taken the ideas behind the a decentralized exchange and added in all of the upsides of a centralized exchange um, while still keeping a decentralized distributed ledger. So that's fantastic. Now let's go ahead and go over some of the things that are here. So there is a lot here. Um, they are on Twitter. They are on Facebook. There are um, Reddit posts. They have um, a Telegram community. They have lots of blog posts on Medium. Their uh, team is listed on LinkedIn. They have a Bitcoin talk, ANN thread, and also a fantastic um, Discord community. So um, I really like what I'm seeing here, and I'm really, really pretty excited about this. Unfortunately, uh, this is the ICO is not going to be available for contributions from people um, who reside in the United States. Uh, they are doing complete. Uh, they are going to be completely KYC compliant, KYC AML compliant. So, um, and there actually is not even going to be a first tier like the Binance Exchange where you can get in uh, with lower limits and not have to, you know, do those KYC requirements because of the structure of this. Um, of this exchange, they are requiring uh, KYC for everyone. Uh, you, people from the United States will be able to, to participate in the exchange once it is live, but um, we will not be able to participate in the ICO. Unfortunate, um, because I really think this looks super interesting, which is why I'm talking about it anyway. <laughs> so um, there we go. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's happening here. So, like I said, um, they are using a decentralized blockchain protocol. So it will have be fully transparent and prevent um, front running and market manipulation. So front running is where um, an exchange operator can basically see what orders are coming down the pike for an order book and then take that insider information and place their order in front and you know scoop up the, those good deals so um, this because of the way that the legolas protocol is has been developed um, they will not be able to do um, front running on this exchange so it will be more fair to those people who are participating in the exchange so like i said this is a hybrid model um, they are combining the features of a decentralized exchange so the distributed ledger but also they are going to have um, features of a centralized exchange, which will allow us to do um, transactions that are across different chains. So uh, for instance, EtherDelta, which is um, a decentralized um, Ethereum exchange, well, you can only do transactions there that are on the Ethereum blockchain because that's how the decentralized exchange works. Uh, if you want to cross chains at this point, you need to be in a centralized exchange like uh, Bittrex or Bitfinex, Kraken, Gemini, you know, one of the uh, larger centralized exchanges. But, you know, once you are in that centralized exchange, you're really giving a lot of trust over to uh, the people who operate that exchange. And this idea here is going to um, combine the ability to go cross chain and also from fiat into crypto, um, but still give us a um, distributed ledger, which is fantastic. Uh, also, they are going to be partnering with Ledger and other hardware wallets, and you will not be giving them your assets in order to make trades. 
you will be holding your assets and um, you know your signature will send you'll you'll send your order over to the order book from your ledger or your other hardware wallet. So I think that that is fantastic and really seems to solve a lot of the issues that exist with um, existing centralized exchanges. And also, um, you know, it it helps bridge uh, the decentralized exchange uh, gap also and 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 allow us to do more than you are able to do on a traditional decentralized exchange. So I think that is all very, very exciting. And yeah, so, um, so I'm talking about this. So uh, like I said, it is, um, they are using the, a decentralized ledger and um, it is going to allow you to send uh, orders over to the order book and then um, it it's kind of complicated but the way that it works is that um, the order book is the centralized part so there's an order book and a matching portion um, that is going to match orders in the order book and then that is going to get sent and that's the centralized portion and then it's going to get sent over to um, to the distributed ledger which is the decentralized portion um, to be added into the blockchain so um, it's really very very interesting um, way to approach uh, the exchange and it is adding in um, the lgo or the the legolas token is going to get you discounts on exchange fees it is also going to be used as a trading pair and they are going to be um, burning tokens every single day and they're also going to be rewarding long-term holders from the ico um, with uh, additional coins over the next two years, every six months over the next two years. So uh, I think that there is a lot of very interesting uh, options that they're that they're doing here, and yeah, I think it looks really good. So so it is a secure wallet because you control your own coins. You are your um, no one else will be able to spend your coins without your signature. So you have to send your order with your private key. Um, over into the order book. And then the, um, like I said, the team is going to be, once it's there, the centralized portion is the order book and the matching portion. So um, the strategic partnership with Ledger means that users can count on state-of-the-art safeguards for their crypto assets like smart card based hardware wallets and hardware security modules. So um, the Legolos exchange Exchange's ex exclusive protocol guarantees the, tempor the temporality of orders. It neutralizes front running and market manipulation and ensures a fair and honest trading environment. So additionally, they have a partnership with Maycor that is um, going to have uh, tier one fiat banks um, as integrated as part of the system. So it's gonna allow people to have large deposits and withdrawals of fiat currency which should really appeal to big institutional investors. And um, in quarter one of 2018, they are going to be opening the beta, which is going to focus on institutional investors. And this isn't really planned to open up until quarter three of 2018 for uh, smaller fish. So um, this is transparent. They're using blockchain, blockchain technology. Uh, Legolas Exchange platform is designed to provide auditable trade history and order book, real-time proof of reserve, and complete reporting. So um, here's the problems that they saw and the reason that they have made this platform. The, there was no existing platform for institutions to access cryptocurrency. And so despite the increasing numbers of investors and traders who recognize the value of cryptocurrencies as a long-term investment, High profile investors have held back on investing massively in the market. Fund security, verifiability, honesty, honesty and fairness, along with efficient reporting tools are all still badly lacking in the current crypto exchange ecosystem. Opaque and sometimes dishonest exchanges have also undermined the crypto community trust, like Mt. Gox. Let's face it, that was a really, really big issue that honestly took years to recover from uh, within the crypto community. So 
Um, I, I really think that there's some great ideas here to make sure that, you know, people can have big institutional money in and interact with the crypto space in, in a more safe way. So um, there was stolen BTC. Millions of Bitcoins have been stolen since 2009 and hackers are always on the lookout for new avenues of attack. Um, as such, they have said here that um, they are going to require 2FA in addition to KYC um, and it won't be basic 2FA either. It is um, going to be um, actually it's something that I'm not familiar with. It said it was FIDO 2FA. So um, I am, am interested to see what that will look like, but I definitely really, really like the idea of not sending my money to the exchange where I get to hold this in my own hardware wallet and still participate in the exchange. I think it's really brilliant. So market manipulation. Uh, without oversight or regulations, exchanges are suspected of market manipulation. Also, there are no large fiat transactions with current exchanges. There are low maximum amounts and high fees, as well as long delays for fiat transactions and they make large, uh, large size trades tedious. I mean, if you have ever tried to get money from your bank into say Coinbase, you know that those wire transfers can take days and the limits are really pretty low if you're talking, you know, not for everyday people, but if you're talking about large institutional investors, you know, it's really quite onerous to, to get through the system, to get large amounts of fiat into the system. Um, so additionally, their opacity they saw as a problem. So free from accountability, crypto exchanges operate without periodic reports or independent audits. And then they see um, fully decentralized exchanges as an unrealistic solution. And that is what I said before, because decentralized exchanges can only operate within the same blockchain. So um, they point out here that only 3% of, of crypto transactions are intra-chain and 75% um, of crypto um, transactions are actually fiat to crypto with tw the remaining 22% being cross-chain cross transactions like going from Ethereum to Bitcoin or Litecoin to Bitcoin or any other of the many, many different chains that are out there. So, um, you know, just participating on a decentralized exchange is very limiting because you really have to be, you know, planning to to stick within the same blockchain. So this is addressing that problem. OK, so the timeline um, in Q1, they have a uh, Q1 of I'm sorry, here was the first um, the first portion here, Q, quarter two of 2017. They started um, with their development. And um, like I said, in quarter one of 2018, they are planning their beta release that is going to be geared toward institutional investors so that they can really get a better feel for what it is that they need um, in order to participate in this space. And then in um, quarter three of 2018, that is when they expect to have the, the first version of the platform available for everyone. So the white paper is. Um, it is long and it is very, very detailed. Um, so there are 35 pages. It is a lot of um, very specific information and how they are going to, um, you know, use the Legolas protocol in order to combat a lot of the issues that they see with existing exchanges and, um, you know, what makes them different. So. Um, there's a lot in here. I definitely recommend if you're going to take a position in this that you do take the time, come over and read the white paper. Um, it is very dense. So um, also, let's go back over to the site. Here is the team. So um, Frederick Montagnon, um, he is the CEO and he has um, 20 years of experience um, with uh, the financial industry. Um, there's really a lot of people here who are they're available to look at their profiles on LinkedIn. Um, they are available and active on the Discord also. So if you have questions, 
I highly recommend that you join their Discord community and head over there um, where you can ask questions and participate in the growing community that is over there and find um, more information there because they are there and answering questions. So uh, they also do have some advisors listed here, um, but they are really, you know, there's a lot, their team has um, a lot of blockchain information and, and speciality as well as um, traditional finance um, knowledge also and experience. So looks good to me. Um, they have been featured in the Institutional Investor Journals um, and Blockchain Daily News and Vision PR Newswire. So, um, but the their partnership with the Makor Group is really providing big, big bank support so that it will allow these institutional investors to come in and participate in crypto. And I mean, I really do expect that there are institutional investors who are just chomping at the bit right now to get in on what is really a, a pretty low price for cryptos right now. We definitely have seen a huge pullback in the market. And I mean, I know I'm, I'm a small fish and I want to buy the dip. So I'm sure that people, um, you know, who have hedge fund type money also want to get in here and buy the dip too. But there isn't a good way to get all that huge amount of money into crypto right now. So that's the problem that they are trying to address here. So the LGO token, um, it is going to be, that's what is going to fuel the exchange. So order fees and other paid services provided by Legolas are to be paid in LGO. Um, for the token sale, they are going to be accepting Bitcoin. And um, tokens will be issued after the public sale. It says in the white paper that that's, that's going to be two weeks after the conclusion of the public sale. And once completed, no further tokens will be generated. So um, the technology is a pre-generated BIP32 wallet. It is um, following an ERC20 token smart contract. There were 60% um, so the token distribution is 60% from private sale, 20% in reserve, 5% for advisors, and 15% for the team. Um, it does say in the white paper that the team coins as well as the advisor coins are going to be frozen for a time period. Um, round one was closed, and um, the quantity sold, they, they sold uh, 461 Bitcoins worth. And it was open only to advisors and partners. It was 20% of the total supply. Uh, round one was also closed, and that was 40% of the quantity was sold in round two. It was open to premium investors, those invited by the founders, advisors, or partners. And then the public sale is going to be starting on February 1st, and that is going to be open to everyone except people from the United States. So they are, there's a cap of 2,000 Bitcoins, and um, that is 40% uh, is what they are selling there. So um, let's go ahead. Um, we've already looked at um, basically everything. Oh, I did ask them. Um, there's 174 million is the total number of tokens that will be uh, ever created for L LGO tokens. So. Um, let's see. Here's their Twitter page. So they have been posting a lot over here and quite, quite a lot, actually. Um, one thing that they are doing right now is if you buy LGO during the ICO, you will get to vote for the five altcoins that you want to see on the Legolas, Legolas exchange when it launches. So, um, they have a bunch of options here and, um, yeah, they, they really have a lot. So they have 31 things that they have listed that you can pick five of. And they are, they all look very, very good to me. I would certainly be happy to see any of these coins on here, especially Dragon Chain. I'm looking for another place to buy Dragon Chain. Um, but, okay, anyway. Um, so I think this looks really good. Um, I definitely really, really like 
the idea of being able to interact with this exchange by using my hardware wallet because really it does it's a lot of trust to send your coins your bitcoin your hard-earned bitcoin over to say bitrex or binance or kucoin or whatever exchange you're using you are really trusting that you're going to be able to make that withdrawal of you know whatever coin that you traded for whenever you want to and you know it, things happen and you know to be able to hold your coins and still participate in the exchange is really, really attractive to me. So um, this is their, but there, this is their Twitter. They have a lot here. Um, they do also have their Facebook page, which they are not quite as active on. Um, there are also people who um, are asking questions over here on Reddit. Uh, they do also have um, a Telegram community. And um, their medium is, there's, there are a lot of um, articles here about Legolas and um, what it is doing and what makes it better and different um, over here on Medium. So I definitely would suggest that you come over and read this. Um, it does uh, give you a lot of, let's see if I can find it quickly. Um, so the benefits of a hybrid solution. I really, really liked this article. So I would definitely recommend that you come over and take a look at this. Uh, this shows what the Legolas Exchange, a hybrid structure simplified. So this is what I was saying, where this is the centralized portion where you, know, you submit your order to the order pool and then the matching engine will match your order with someone else's or with you know, someone else in the order pool. And then once that is done, you know, that gets uh, sent over to the blockchain to the decentralized ledger to be added into the blockchain and um, you know then the matching engine will get you your your money back into your wallet so um, I really really think that this is a, a very clever idea and yeah that's that's why I wanted to talk about it today so um, I would definitely recommend that you Read the white paper, come over to Medium, read all the blog posts that are over here. There is really a lot of information here, but I think exchange coins are the big, they're, they're really, really attractive. I mean, obviously, you know, Binance is using their Binance token as a trading pair. You also get a discount on fees. Legolas is going to be doing the same thing. So, you know, if you watch, if you've been watching, the price of a Binance token has been doing quite well. The same thing goes for um, the KuCoin uh, coin also. And I am um, certainly keeping my eye out for more exchange coins because I do think that they are really, um, you know, the next big thing in crypto. Well, the current big thing in crypto. So um, that is really going to do it for me today, everyone. Um, don't forget to go over to LinkedIn where you can check out the um, all the people who are here and on their team. Also, their ANN feed is over here and has a, a lot of information um, on their ANN. Also, they are also doing um, a signature campaign if you have a Bitcoin Talk account and want to participate in the signature campaign. Um, and then their Discord, sorry, their Discord is um, also very, um, very, there's a lot of people over here. I mean, their, their community has 181 people already. Um, there are a couple, there's an admin here and um, quite a, a number of people who are um, participating from the Legolas team. There was another moderator on earlier. So this is definitely um, an active community. So I really, really like that. I really like how accessible um, the team has been over here with Legolos, and um, I think that this looks very good. So um, I am not able to participate in the ICO, but um, I do think it looks really good. So if you're not in the United States, then I, I, would, I would recommend that you take the time, do some research on this one. Uh, you have a little bit of time left. Like I said, this does not start until February 1st, so do make sure that you sift through all this information. All right. Well, that's it for today, everyone. If you like the video, then please do leave a like. If you'd like to see more from me, then please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those in the comments section or hop on over to uh, my Discord channel and um, join the community there. So I want to thank everyone for your time today. I'll see you next time.